Hi, welcome to the first of my videos on slideshow design. This one is on my own idea, the four A's. And the first A is accessibility. Now accessibility means that people with certain disabilities can actually read the slide. And the first of this obviously is fonts. The fonts should be dyslexic friendly. So here we can see a range of four different fonts coming up which are all dyslexic friendly. They don't have any serif, they're the sans serif fonts. Now these non-dyslexic friendly fonts do have serifs, that's the little tails on the ends of the letter and they're more difficult for dyslexic people to read. So you want to make sure wherever possible you're using dyslexic friendly fonts. Now also we want to make sure that the contrast is okay for colorblind people. So these top two layers of text are okay for colorblind people to read. The bottom two, the contrast is really, really weak and it's similar colours from the spectrum, so they're really bad for colourblind people to read. The next day is appropriateness, and this is about the overall style of the slide, how appropriate it is for the topic. Now here it says vampires and it's all done in capitals in a modern looking font. It's not very appropriate for vampires, but here, parchment, fire, and an old gothic text is more appropriate, even though this text is actually not dyslexic friendly. Arrangement is the next one, and this is referring to the elements on the actual slide. So here I've got half a photo of my students, I've called them the ARW1 cube for reasons from the first presentation, and we can see that the photo wraps around in a cube shape. So the cube with the photo blending around matches the style. And here I was making the point that this was a very diverse group of students and we've got all these flags popping up from all the different countries where these students have lived and studied in to show the diversity. So again with the diverse range of flags and I'm emphasising the diversity of the student's educational background, it kind of stylistically fits, it's appropriate. The last A is awesomeness and this is kind of everything taken together. Now the first thing about awesomeness is you want slides and content that promotes the wow factor at the audience. Something that hits their emotions so that dopamine, and here we can see the chemical breakdown of dopamine, we want dopamine to be produced in their body. Because one of the side effects of dopamine is increased memory retention. So here I've used tablet BC and tablet PC to create a kind of funny joke to make them laugh. And then once they're laughing, I can actually hit them with the main point, knowing that their body's got dopamine in it and it's going to help them retain that information. And the main point that I want to make after I've flooded their system with dopamine is that education is not about memorization, symbolized by a memory stick, but education is about exploration, symbolized by the compass. And this enables them to go from limitation to liberation.